Since the early days of COVID-19, many of us have been rightly skeptical of the media's narrative of its origins. Our next guest has firsthand experience working in China during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the few brave people on the planet who has spoken out against the Chinese government for its response here. Joining us now is independent coronavirus expert, Dr. Li Mengyan. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Thank you, Benny. Thank you for having me. This must be a remarkable moment for you. Early on, a year ago or more, you were sounding the alarm about the origins of COVID and how it is probable, if not very, very possible, that this was an engineered virus from a lab. You were ripped off of social media for saying that. Anyone who posted your content was deplatformed and perhaps banned. And you were called pants on fire by PolitiFact. But yet today, now, everyone seems to be sounding like you, doctor, in questioning the Wuhan Institute of Virology and the origins of this virus. How does that feel? Uh, actually, I, I know this day will come finally. Just I'm not sure. I mean, in the beginning, when I start to expose all the things through me, uh, Mr. Luda's YouTube channel back to last January, I'm not sure whether I would see that day because I know this truth is the most thing Chinese Communist Party government scared of, and they will recruit all the powerful and all the power and all uh, what they can do to stop this information being known by the public. So I know there would be attacks, no matter online or live street hands, on, uh, offline, and I know I'm in danger. But luckily, now I say this day comes, and I say it goes very well, and I say people are so smart, they realize the truth is the virus, COVID-19 virus, comes from the lab in Wuhan, and behind it is the whole Chinese government's effort to make the non-traditional bioweapon to attack the world. Yeah, they were celebrating their trophy. You see that. But we will stop it. We won't let them win. Incredible. Incredible. The people listening on our program are probably familiar with you. But for those who are not, can you give them a background on your work in China and why you have such authority to speak on this issue? Uh, actually, briefly, because I was a, a virologist work in the WHO reference lab in the University of Hong Kong for over five years. And my colleagues are the top coronavirus experts in the world. And they are the WHO core team members. So that's why at the beginning of the outbreak back to 31st December 2019, since the new pneumonia came out in Wuhan, but China government doesn't allow any information come out, I was assigned into the secret investigation to using my own network and get information about this new virus happened in China. And they want this information to be known to the world. But when the experts understand that there was so much, uh, you know, uh, disciplines from China government and they are scared. Also, some of them involved into the study of this novel bioweapon. So finally, they suppressed my voice and they want me to be silent. If not, if I cross the red line, I would be disappeared. But as an medical doctor and also a scientist, I realized based on my exper uh, experience and also the knowledge, the intelligence I got, I know what it is. I know this is a normal bioweapon, which may not meet, uh, let people die immediately in a very high rate, but it will destroy the society if you don't control it on in time. So that's why finally I managed to deliver all this message out through Mr. Moody's YouTube on 19th January, which make China government scared because they see some people point out the backbone of this virus is from PLA and they have to conduct the quick, uh, all the measurement, including admit human to human transmission, admit they are covering up, and also finally lock down Wuhan. Doc, uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a virologist. Um, what you're saying here 
it sounds absolutely horrifying. I've heard you say it before you were just written off by our corporate media and medical establishment. Uh, but now many are coming to the conclusion that this needs to be studied and studied severely. Will they find this to be true? What will they find when we get done with 90 days of research from our intelligence organizations here in America? Will they come to this conclusion, doctor? Uh, I really hope they can conclude the, uh, reach the clear conclusion within 90 days. First, I have present enough evidence, including scientific evidence and also intelligence evidence through my three published reports. And also, I have given a lot of other information through media. And now uh, we also know that uh, there is a PLA textbook which have some uh, clearly mentioned back to 2015 in an open way. I mean, they tell it as an open secret to the people. There will be the uh, novel bioweapon uh, developed based on coronavirus and which can be looks like nature occurring. The important thing is to deny, to spread misinformation once people realize it's from the lab. So what we need to do is we need to collaborate with more and more scientists or professional people and together with our uh, public to show the evidence, to show the people, let people understand this is really the bioweapon, the novel bioweapon, unrestricted bioweapon made by PLA, not only one lab, not only Wuhan lab. They do a lot of things. They donate money and effort to develop it to harm the whole world. And it is intentionally released, not the lab leak. We need to show this evidence. We need to work together. And we need to stop the pandemic soon as possible and hold Chinese government accountable. Very quickly, doctor, last question because we are out of time. Have you been contacted by American intelligence? Have you been contacted by any by the NIH, by anyone who may be studying the coronavirus origins? Actually, what I can tell you now is from the first day I came to U.S., FBI, Homeland, and other people that contact me. And I do believe that they have uh, collected information and uh, listening to my word. But I hope more people can do it. And also, yes, yeah, there were like bioweapon experts. They totally agree with my work and also like uh, Dr. Navarro and also uh, Ms. Bannon, all these people, they try to help people understand what happened. There are many people work uh, to promote this truth to the public, but we do need more people to get involved. And yes, people from even NIH turn to me, the ones previously told people that it's from nature and even try to uh, rebut me in New York Times or say, uh, now they turn to me, they admit uh, that this is lab origin and they want to get my suggestion. And I'm happy to provide my knowledge and the information to people, whoever want to know the truth. The truth is what we need now more than ever. And experts like yourself, people who are truly brave, you are truly brave, doctor. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We uh, certainly support your research and your truth. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Benny.